a synthesis or combination reaction follows the pattern of two components combining to form one component. The model is A plus B yields AB. A and B can be either elements or compounds. AB is a new compound formed from the two reactants A and B. Here are some examples that include elements as A and B, and the product is the combination of those two elements. The first example, magnesium, we could label as A, oxygen, elemental oxygen O2 is B. The AB product is magnesium oxide. The second one, elemental sulfur, elemental oxygen again O2 combining to form sulfur dioxide, a new compound. And the second and third examples also show these reactants A and B as elements forming new compounds. Now how you predict what new compounds formed relies on your knowledge of legitimate ionic and covalent compounds and of course balanced equations. This definitely takes practice and a lot of work and patience. Here are two examples where the reactants A and B are compounds. Sodium oxide reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and the second example the compounds sulfur trioxide react with water forms H2SO4 or sulfuric acid. A combustion reaction generally includes a hydrocarbon burning in the presence of oxygen, O2. You can recognize a hydrocarbon by a formula containing only carbons and hydrogens and sometimes oxygen. These reactions always have O2 as a reactant and a hydrocarbon as a reactant and will always produce carbon dioxide and water. Your big objective is to balance the equation. Here are three examples. You see O2 as a reactant in all three of these equations and different hydrocarbons CH4 C8H18, C2H5OH. Particularly in this last equation, you want to make sure you account for this single oxygen in this formula when you go and balance the equation. So in summary, the type of combustion reaction you'll encounter will be oxygen as a reactant combining with a hydrocarbon, always producing carbon dioxide and water. That's sort of the easy part. The more challenging part is to balance the chemical equation. Another type of reaction is a decomposition reaction. This is essentially the reverse of a combination or a synthesis reaction. You can see the pattern is reverse. Here you have a compound breaking up into two components. The components can either be elements or uh, a compound and an element or a number of different compounds. An easy way to remember this type of reaction is you have one reactant and typically heat is involved. And as you can see a triangle or what they call delta is placed above the arrow in the equation to show a source of heat used in the reaction. Here Mercury 2 oxide is broken up into elemental mercury and elemental oxygen. Lead 4 oxide is broken up into lead 2 oxide and elemental oxygen. Calcium carbonate broken up into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Aside from the requirement of heat for these decomposition reactions, another common feature is the production of a gas. You could see each of these equations show at least one gas as a product. In a 
single displacement reaction, an element reacts with a compound to produce another element and a new compound. The element could either be a metal or a halogen. The metal may or may not replace the first component in the compound, and the halogen may or may not replace the first component in the compound. The replacement depends on the activity of elemental A as compared to the activity of the component B in the compound, BC. An activity series table such as this is used to help predict if a single displacement reaction will occur based on the activities of the reactants. For your midterm and final, you will not need to memorize the activity series. Here are two examples. Nickel will replace hydrogen to form nickel to chloride. You would predict a reaction occurs because nickel is higher on the activity series. In the second reaction, tin will not replace aluminum because aluminum is more active than tin, or tin is less active than aluminum. Because iron is lower on the activity series than magnesium, no reaction occurs between iron and magnesium chloride. In this reaction, zinc is more active than lead. So lead solid forms and zinc nitrate. 